Hello there everyone and welcome to your weekly MTA plan work video for the Queen Subways and Long Island Railroad for the weekend of Friday, August 31st, 2018 and lasting until September 3rd, Monday, 2018, Labor Day weekend. I'm going to wish everybody who is celebrating a happy Labor Day. Uh, Monday is a big deal for the people who are, of course, proudly celebrating. Uh, sadly for the kids, their fun is over for the summer. Uh, some kids are going back on Tuesday in other school districts, private schools, but a friendly reminder to the parents that Wednesday, September 5th, all New York City public schools will be back in session. So <laughs> I know the fun's over for the kids. I mean, I'm an adult. I have to go to work three days a week in the summer but uh, you know that's life when you grow up you eventually have to go to work but thankfully I'm only part-time but anyhow yes uh, just a friendly reminder to the parents uh, besides Queen subways and Long Island Railroad well the Long Island Railroad is an important factor too because I have to talk to you off this presentation to you all about a big headache coming on the Montauk branch starting on Tuesday which will last two months which we have to discuss. Uh, also, two big events taking place this weekend. We have Electric Zoo. I'm going to talk about transportation options to get to Randall's Island. And we also have talk about Juvelin Day Parade, West Indian Day Parade taking place in Brooklyn on Monday, September 3rd. Uh, very important to West Indian Caribbean culture for that parade. And of course, a lot of headaches, spot traffic jams on Labor Day. Um, I'll quickly go off topic to remind everybody that alternate side parking is suspended on Labor Day. So I just don't want, you know, I want to make sure everybody got the message on that. In case nobody brings it up, but I just want to remind everybody that alternate side parking here in the city will be suspended on Monday. Uh, also, I'll, I'll mention an off topic. Uh, Sanitation pickup will also be suspended on Monday. So uh, if you are expecting to take out the garbage on Monday, uh, please don't do so. Uh, find out, if possible, when your trash will get picked up if you normally get your trash picked up on Monday. Now with that out of the way, we're going to go to the presentation I have here on PowerPoint. And then I have a special online presentation like I mentioned for Electric Zoo, the West Indian Day Parade, and the big headache coming on the Matwak Branch. First up, let's talk about our friendly Neighborhood 7 train. How's it doing? Flushing bound 7 service will run express from Queensboro Plaza to Willits Point, stopping at 74th Street Broadway due to signal modernization. So eastbound trains will still be stopping at Jackson Heights this weekend. So if you want to go to the plaza in Jackson Heights, you will still have that luxury this weekend. For westbound service, please walk across to the platform at 74th Street Broadway or Willits Point, or you can use the Q32, Q48, or Q60 buses. Eastbound service will be impacted, but if you need to go a little bit out of your way, I would recommend going westbound. Uh, if possible, walking is another option along Roosevelt Avenue. I know I wouldn't recommend it, but if you're only going one stop, uh, the best thing I can recommend you do is just walk because uh, you don't want to deal with finding out if there's a bus along Roosevelt and being disappointed. So, Headache saved, just transfer it at 74th Street Broadway or transfer at Metz Willits Point. You should get westbound service, but if you are seeking westbound service uh, from any other station, you have your bus options. You have, of course, the option to walk if you want to because uh, I only recommend it because Walking is a way of life here in New York City, even in the outer boroughs. I know it sounds crazy to even bring it up with all the mass transit we still have, but walking is still 
Sometimes easy. It can be. So, uh, if possible, I said. You don't have to do it, but if you have the luxury of Uber and Lyft, you always have that. But I don't really like to bring it up because controversy of getting ripped off. Partial M train service this weekend going on in Brooklyn. Let's talk about that. Saturday and Sunday, September 1st to the 2nd, 6.30 a.m. to 12 a.m. midnight. Free buses and or the J train will replace M trains between Galante Exit Street and Myrtle Avenue due to structural maintenance. M, ma M trains will run between Metropolitan Avenue and Myrtle Avenue. For service between Delante Exit Street and Hughes Street, use shuttle buses. So the buses will be available this weekend, so they have this organized, thank goodness, just to give my two cents into this. But yeah, if you can, use the shuttle buses. Now for service between Hughes Street and Myrtle Avenue, you can take the J train. No, M service again, because this has been going on so many times this year. Between Forest Hill 71st Avenue and the Latte Exit Street will end at 8.15 p.m. on Friday, August 31st. So just want to quickly uh, remind you about that information. How's the R looking? R train service in Queens will not be impacted. So if you want local service along the Queens Boulevard main line this weekend, please use the R train and also bring up local service available this weekend as well in Queens because this is good news for people who want to go to the Queens Center Mall again this weekend. We'll talk about that as we go along here. We have a big headache on the E this weekend, so let's talk about this. Beginning on Friday, August 31st and ending on September 4th, which is Tuesday, this will be taking place from 9.45 p.m. on Friday to 5 a.m. on Tuesday. E-trains will run via the F in both directions between 36th Street and 2nd Avenue in the last stop due to signal modernization. Use nearby F trains on 6th Avenue, uh, 7 A, C, D, and R, and or Lexington Avenue for local or 6 to complete your trip. For Queens Plaza, please use the R train. Transfer at West 4th Street for the A, C, and E trains. Times Square, 42nd Street, Port Authority. There's also the 7, A, C, and R via the underground walkway between 8th Avenue and 7th Avenue. Which, um, the way I got this from the MTA, they really didn't explain it, so pretty much if you're confused, uh, there is the underground walkway available on 42nd Street. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, I'll recap. Uh, the underground walkway links up subway service between Times Square and the Port Authority. So you have the underground walkway, which is connecting 7th Avenue and Broadway all the way to 8th Avenue. So if you want to use that as an option, you have that. Just be careful where you're going because you might end up in the wrong place. And uh, I would just recommend looking for the signs. That's all I was saying. Um, you can also transfer at Rockefeller Center, 4750th Street. So, uh, pretty much, it, before I get back to this, I just want to read this 21st Street, Queens Bridge, EF Shuttle Bus, and or 74th Street, Roosevelt Avenue, EF and R. Free shuttle buses will connect Court Square, uh, 21st Street, and Queens Plaza. So I just want to quickly mention, if you are confused about this, is that the E is going to be running local. I'll get to that right now. So the E is going to be running local between uh, 71st Avenue and Roosevelt Avenue due to signal modernization. But the E local will still be running this weekend. So if you need service to the Queen Center Mall, you can use the E-Train. But keeping in mind, I just want to remind everyone that once you get past 36th Street in Astoria, 
This is where the tracks will change. And I know this because um, there is a way to change the tracks before 36th Street. So pretty much the train will be stopping at 21st Street Queens Bridge and then going along the 6th Avenue line. So uh, once again, if you're confused and you don't want to deal with the headaches with regards to not having direct e-service this weekend, uh, the best thing I could recommend you all do is just go to West 4th Street. If you can get to West 4th Street via the E, please do so as you can connect for uptown service on the A or the C line for 8th Avenue service. So you do have that option. Now, if you are seeking service to the Port Authority, as an example, you'll have to backtrack to West 4th Street. Um, as another example I can bring up, uh, 21st Street Queens Bridge is another option. Uh, if you can, for Queens Plaza, just take the R train. You have 74th Street Roosevelt Avenue is another option. So pretty much, uh, shouldn't be that much of a headache if you just use West 4th Street as your main terminal this weekend. That's how I would do it to avoid the headaches. So, yeah, once again, E-trains will run local in both directions between 71st Avenue and Roosevelt Avenue due to signal modernization. This is going to take place on Saturday, September 1st from 12.01 a.m. and ending at 5 a.m. on Tuesday morning the 4th. So what's going to go happen with the F-train? Because I wanted to do a different transition for this slide. I wanted to surprise you. <laughs> like, what is this? A technical glitch? <laughs> I wanted to do one on purpose because uh, I get so bored with the uh, with the transitions. But next week, I'll I'll fix it. Don't worry. It's only for this week because it gets repetitive and boring for this. So very quickly on the F, um, September first, starting at twelve oh one a.m. and I'm going to five a.m. Tuesday, the fourth. F trains will run local in both directions between Forest Hills 71st Avenue and Roosevelt Avenue due to signal modernization. So once again, you have the E, the F, and the R running local this weekend. If the E is not running local, you can use the F train to get to the Queen Center Mall this weekend. So once again, best bet I can say right now is if you want service to the Queen Center Mall this weekend you can take the F train and you can take the R train so please remember that so that's a very good um, very accessible options this weekend I could easily survive this just because I would you know read the emails like I normally do and check the weekender that's why I'm here to quickly reiterate the points here but you do have your options you do you can get your last uh, last few days of summer fun in because of my help so you can thank me no chain train again this weekend due to station improvements in Brooklyn and uh, very quickly if anybody has uh, found my J train updates very useful I appreciate that because I always forgot to do the J train because I knew people would use it between Brooklyn and Jamaica. So I, I was like, how could I forget to add this? So anyhow, um, let's read this. August 31st to September 3rd, 9.45 p.m. Friday to 5 a.m. Monday. So this is going to wrap up on Labor Day. So there will be service available. That's good news. Free buses and or the 4, 6, and F trains will replace J trains between Hugh Street and Broad Street due to structural maintenance. J service will run between Jamaica Center and Hugh Street. Buses will run between Hugh Street and the Lance Exit Street. Transfer between trains and buses at Hugh Street 
or Lanse Essex Street on the F train. For service between the Lanse Essex Street and Broad Street, you can use the 6 train to and from nearby stations via transfer at Bleecker Street, Broadway, Lafayette Street. You can transfer to and from the 4 at Brooklyn Bridge Station. For service to and from Manhattan, use the AC or L via transfer at Broadway Junction. So once again, if, um, if you're seeking service past Hugh Street, Broad Street, uh, it's going to be a headache. But at least the good news is the main J service in Brooklyn and in Queens will be available. But in Brooklyn, not so much. So we have important schedule changes on Labor Day for New York City Transit. On Monday, September 3rd, in observance of Labor Day, New York City buses, subways, and the Staten Island Railway will run on a Sunday schedule. Please refer to your Sunday timetables to arrivals and departures. So, I should have typed in four, but it doesn't really matter. But if you want it, you can just check the Sunday timetable and you will be able to plan your trip that way. No work at all on the Long Island Railroad branches. On all of them. Due to the holiday weekend and high amount of travel expected between Friday, August 31st and Monday, September 3rd, the Long Island Railroad will not be doing any planned work. This also includes no buses replacing trains between Hicksville and Rockhockamon due to the double track project. Uh, just a friendly reminder that no trains on the Rockhockamon branch will be stopping in Mineola. I will be surprised if they do, but if, uh, it's supposed to not stop normally. So if you want service from Mineola, please just use the Huntington branch. So we have an important schedule change for Labor Day, of course, in observance of the holiday. Long Island Railroad will be operating on a weekend schedule. Please refer to Saturday, Sunday holiday schedule timetables for arrivals and departures. So, uh, there will be regular service on the railroad this weekend. And uh, I want to mention something important that happened on the 30th. Uh, the 407 eastbound express train, the Cannonball, from Penn Express to the Hamptons, ran on Thursday. So that way people could extend their holiday weekends. That's very good news for people who wanted to get an extra day in. Now, this is very important. New Long Island Railroad timetables will go into effect on Tuesday, September 4th. Please pick up your new timetables at your station or visit the MTA's website to update your PDF timetable files. I didn't mention this in the slide. All the schedules will last until Sunday, September, excuse me, Sunday, November 11th. I said September by accident. Sunday, November 11th will be the end of the schedule and we will have new schedules on the railroad starting on Monday November 12th. School is back in session and I mentioned this earlier. Starting on Wednesday September 5th, school day only bus arrivals and departures will be back in effect for New York City buses. Please refer to the timetables for departures and arrivals so for the kids, I know this is very important. If you can get your schedules, please read them and make sure that you see the S on the schedule. That means it's a school day and that time is important. So please um, remember that. I don't want anybody forgetting it. I don't want the parents to remind their kids right now if they're <laughs> watching this. But yes, it's very important that you remember that because uh, there is extra bus service that's a positive but unfortunately for the adults like me uh, the buses are gonna get crowded so uh, I know better if my bus gets crowded near a school which 
is Francis Lewis and MS-174 here in Fresh Meadows. If the bus somehow does get crowded, uh, I can just walk home because I don't want to be cramped up. I'd rather be able to have the luxury of just walking home, which honestly, for me in Fresh Meadows, it's a luxury. So I'm just thankful I have that option. But uh, just want to quickly bring that up. So that's the end of the slideshow for this week. The next part will be, of course, the online presentation I have regarding the Electric Sioux Festival, the West Indian Day Parade, and the big headache coming for the Matuak branch starting on Tuesday. Welcome to part two of this week's service changes video. It's I will discuss the service changes for big events taking place this weekend. Uh, we're going to talk about Electric Sioux. We're going to talk about the West Indian Day Parade. And we're going to talk about, once again, and I mentioned in part one, the big headache coming to the Montauk branch, which a lot of people are not going to look forward to. Alright, so first up, the Electric Sioux Music Festival at Randall's Island. This is going to take place from 12.15 p.m. On, fr on Friday, August 31st, till September 2nd, which is Sunday at 11 p.m. The best way to and from Randall's Island is, of course, to take the 4, 5, or 6 train or Metro North to 125th Street in Harlem and transfer to the X80 Special Event Bus on Lexington Avenue between 125th Street and 126th Street, which will run nonstop to and from Randall's Island, pretty much starting and ending off in Harlem. You can also take the M60 Select Bus Service, M98, M100, M101, M103, or BX15 buses to 125th Street, Lexington Avenue, and board the special X80 so special event to Randall's Island. A special, unfortunately it is special because look at the price, 650 round trip fare is going to be collected going to Randall's Island. And this is another typo. I don't know if this is um, correct or not. Fare is just 375. I don't know if that's correct because the current fare for base metro card is 275. So I don't know if that's correct. That might be a typo. You can pay with coins or pay per ride metro card. So once again, if it's saying 375 and that's a typo. Uh, once again, base fare is two seventy-five. Um, friendly reminder, because I'm part of that category. Reduced fare, Metro Card is one thirty-five for the fare. So if you need to reload uh, in the Metro Card machine, just remember to have the <laughs> old-fashioned trick: dollar, bill, dime, and quarter, and uh, you'll be all set on that. If you are part of the senior disabled crowd like I am, but uh, anyhow. Seven Day Express Bus is the only unlimited ride, so um, I'm going to recommend this right now. If you can buy a seven day pass, please do so because that's what I would do if I was that desperate for unlimited service for a week. Um, it would get. Let's say you purchase it on, uh, I would say, as an example, the 31st. That goes all the way to, I would believe the uh I'm trying to get the date here the seventh right so you're pretty much all set for that and uh want to also read this extra card is accepted on the x80 there is a one dollar fee for new metro card uh, replacement oh right or new metro card purchases no regular unlimited ride metro card, no paper bill or pennies, no bus transfer tickets. You can purchase a $6.50 metro card at the booth or vending machines located at the 125th Street 456 train subway station on the Lexington Avenue line. 
Uh, regular fare is required to board subway, local bus, or Metro North Railroad at 125th Street after the event. So, I got into that. Now we're going to talk about, that's right, the West Indian Day Parade. Well, here we are, 6 a.m., Monday, September 3rd, Labor Day, until 11 a.m. Uh, we have the West Indian Day Parade in Brooklyn as the uh, line from 40-year-old virgin comes. And if the adults uh, know the joke, <laughs> they'll laugh at it right now. But yeah, that's how I'm going to say it. But yes, we have the West Indian Day Parade in Brooklyn. Brooklyn! The parade starts at Grand Army Plaza and travels along Flatbush Avenue, then proceeds east on Empire Boulevard to Nostrand Avenue and finishes six blocks south at Rutland Road. So, following subway stops are available. Grand Army Plaza on the 2, 3, and 4. Prospect Park on the Q and the S. Sterling Street. Winthrop Street. Beverly Road on the 2 line. Uh, just a friendly reminder, Church Avenue Station will be closed from 12.01 a.m. to 8 a.m. So, uh, just want to remind everybody about that. This is only for the Jewelrette Parade. This is the early morning uh, celebration. It used to be way early in the morning, like 2 or 3 a.m., but uh, if you're not familiar with it, the crime always goes up, and uh, there's always controversy with it, which I always feel is not fair to the uh, large Caribbean population here in New York. Um, it's just unfair for them, the ones that don't want to cause trouble. It, it, it's just not fair for them. So they moved it up this year because of all the drama that goes on. But anyhow, we're going to talk about the main event, which will take place from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. The parade route will travel along Eastern Parkway from Buffalo Avenue to Grand Army Plaza, then proceeds east-south along Flatbush Avenue to Empire Boulevard. So you have more information about that from the city, of course. Probably from NYC Gov, most likely, but... Anyhow, uh, once again, uh, your train options will operate on a Sunday schedule. Eastern Parkway Station will be closed from 12 noon to 7 p.m. Crown Heights, Utica Avenue, 3 and 4 Station. Customers can exit only through Schenectady Avenue and enter only at Utica Avenue. Uh, planned service changes may affect travel to and from the event area. To avoid crowding at Franklin Avenue, use the following stations. Prospect Park, Grand Army Plaza, Nostrand Avenue, Kingston Avenue, Crown Heights, Utica Avenue, and Sutter, Rutland Road. Although, subject to rewrote, the following buses will take you to the parade area. The following buses that can get you over to the parade route are the B-12, B-14, B-17, B41, B43, B44 and B44 select bus service, B45, B46, B46 select bus service, B48, B40, uh, B49, B67, and B69. Um, also, just be aware, uh, I know if anybody hasn't heard by now, um, there's going to be poli extra police presence this weekend. On the B15 route, so if the B15, if you're transferring from the B15, which if I'm wrong about this, I apologize, but if you are transferring from the B15, please be aware that there will be extra police presence, there will be police escorts on that route, because if you haven't heard by now, uh, there is a maniac on the loose, punching people in the face, especially the operators. Uh, if you haven't heard back on Thursday the 30th, another driver got assaulted. Um, 
might be the same suspect. The suspect threw a rock at the driver. So, uh, if you are taking the bus in Brooklyn this weekend, just please be careful because this could happen again. I know it's only happening on one route, but if it's happening on these routes, uh, see something, say something. That's all I'm going to say, and I hope there's cameras on the bus because uh, we're at a time to be an operator right now. I really feel bad for those guys and girls, and they have to go through a lot. Uh, I'm not familiar with buses in Brooklyn, but I can tell you one thing. If you are transferring from the B-15, just be aware of that. So I don't want anybody getting scared or confused or anything. All right, so hopefully... No drama this year, hopefully. I want a nice, clean parade. Uh, once again, I have a lot of respect for the Caribbean culture here in New York City. It's a essential part of life here in the city, and uh, to have a celebration would be important. It's tradition, and uh, I just don't want to see any problems. Lastly, we're going to talk about the headaches coming on the Montauk branch. This is going to go all the way till November. To accommodate track work, buses are going to be replacing midday off peak trains between Patchogue and Montauk. This will start on Tuesday, September 4th, and will last until Friday, November 9th. So, once again, as I mentioned earlier, this work will go for two long months. Every day the track work will take place from 8.36 a.m. until 5 p.m. each day. So I'm not going to get into it that much, but I'll go into the main points. Um, westbound, customers will board buses up to an hour and four minutes later than normal train time. Uh, eastbound, um, please plan for additional 65 minutes of additional travel time. All I'm going to say is that if you can get to Patchogue and park your vehicle in the area, I know it can be a headache looking for parking in downtown Pat Patchogue. Me and my parents have gone to that area near the train station before and it can really be a headache. So if you want to circle around for parking and then just get train service at Patchogue if you're going to be transferring at Babylon, uh, I would try to recommend to do that. But uh, it's just going to be a headache. I really do feel bad for people who have to... Um, we we'll have to deal with this, but the only annoying thing is that why can't they do the work from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m.? Because the thing, well, hmm, I wouldn't know. I mean, that would be a little bit confusing, but I mean, you normally think of off-peak service. You're normally thinking of a time frame between 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on normal weekdays. And normally, you know my rule, I don't ride the railroad between 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. on weekdays because I know my, uh, I don't get the reduced fare for my uh, disabled Metro card. So, obviously, it's just going to be a headache. Really will be. And, of course, there is the timetable available on the website. Uh, if you check the plan service changes on the Long Island Railroad's website, you can find it. So, it's going to be a headache. I'm glad I don't have to deal with this. Uh, just very quickly, I'm going to mention that most of my trains have not been impacted for the two months. Uh, I'm still glad my 211 eastbound from uh, Penns and Long Beach will still be on the schedule. Uh, the only annoying thing is they moved back the 1121 eastbound train from New High Park to Huntington. Uh, that's now going to depart at 11.10 a.m. So if I'm coming from Long Island Jewish, I just have to remember to take the 10.32 N25 bus, which would get me to the New High Park train station right before 11. So that way, I, of course, uh, if I want to use the restroom in New High Park, I can do that. Um... 
Merlon Avenue, and just a reminder, that train will come at 11.12. And at Mineola, that train would be coming at 11... I would say 11.15. But I know for a fact that that train goes to Hicksville at 11.31. And the good news is, I looked at the schedule. There is a train departing before 2 o'clock that will only be stopping at Mineola in Jamaica which is the train coming from Huntington because remember, I don't want to deal with the Bronco on my branch until they, they're they done with that double track because I'm sick and tired of dealing with these delays on the Bronco on my branch. I'm using the Huntington branch strictly if I'm going to Hicksville. So, uh, also, 122 eastbound train from Penn to Babylon, which is a flyer. It stops at Jamaica, Freeport, and Babylon. That's still on the schedule, and Port Washington branch schedules are the same. Uh, you know, I just wonder why they can't stop at all local stations. It's really a headache dealing with hourly service at Auburndale, Murray Hill, and Broadway. It can, it can really be a headache. So, other than that, that's it. That's going to end your service changes video. That's where I wrap it up. So once again, happy Labor Day weekend to everybody watching. Uh, for the kids, once again, I know it's very disappointing to uh, not look forward to going back to school. But uh, good news is, uh, I think some kids, I, I think New York City schools are off for Rosh Hashanah. I'm pretty sure they are because um we do have the uh what is it right Rosh Hashanah coming up I believe a week from Sunday Rosh Hashanah will be earlier this year uh, so will the fasting period known as Yom Kippur uh, that's also important for uh, when schools are off and, uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I'm going to say on that. So, till the next one. Enjoy the last moments of summer. You can get in. Take care, everyone.